let's talk about two advanced level verbs that look and sound the same. Invoke and evoke. So, if you want to learn English vocabulary, stay tuned. Okay, invoke versus evoke. Let's get started. It is common for English learners and even native English speakers to mix up words that look or sound similar. Both invoke and evoke are verbs. Invoke means to call upon or bring forth something. Usually for help or for support. This calling upon something or bringing forth something is usually used in a spiritual context. A spiritual situation. For example, you call upon a genie when you rub a magic lamp. Think of the movie Aladdin. You summon a genie when you rub a magic lamp. You invoke a genie when you rub a magic lamp. Same meaning. Call upon, summon, invoke. Invoke also means to call upon, mention, or cite something for help or support. And this mentioning or citing something is usually used in a material context. Material is the opposite of spiritual. Material means in reality. In the real world that you can see and touch and smell, etc. Not the spiritual world that you cannot see and touch and smell. Understand? And this is usually something like a law or a privilege or a right. For example, you mention your right to remain silent when talking to police. You cite your right to remain silent when talking to police. You invoke your right to remain silent when talking to police. These three words, mention, cite, invoke, are synonyms. Evoke means to remember or bring to mind something such as a thought, a feeling, or a memory. For example, smelling coconut lotion always reminds me of the beach. Smelling coconut lotion always makes me remember the beach. Smelling coconut lotion always evokes memories of the beach. When I smell the coconut suntan lotion, right, it brings memories of the beach to my mind. It evokes memories of the beach. Evoke also means 
to cause something to happen. For example, the comedian's joke made the crowd laugh. The comedian's joke caused the crowd to laugh. The comedian's joke evoked laughter from the crowd. So, made the crowd laugh, caused the crowd to laugh, evoked laughter from the crowd. Same meaning. Caused something to happen. Let's look at more examples of invoke and evoke. Don't say pumpkin spice invokes fond memories of the changing leaves in autumn. I'm from Canada, so in autumn, October, November, the leaves die and become orange and red, and we have pumpkins and Halloween, so pumpkin spice in your coffee invokes memories of the changing leaves in autumn. Okay, this is not correct. Say instead, pumpkin spice evokes fond memories of the changing leaves in autumn. Why? Here, evoke means bring to mind. Pumpkin spice reminds me of the changing leaves in autumn. Don't say the protesters evoked the First Amendment and their right to free speech. Say instead the protesters invoked the First Amendment and their right to free speech. Why? Invoke means cite something for help or support. And this is material, the material context for invoke, not spiritual. Don't say, he didn't take out the garbage, which invoked anger from his wife. Say instead, he didn't take out the garbage, which evoked anger from his wife. So what caused the anger from his wife? Him not taking out the garbage. So here, Evoke means cause something to happen. Don't say the witch evoked an evil spirit. Say instead the witch invoked an evil spirit. Here, invoke means to call upon or to bring forth something. And this is the spiritual context. Okay, guys, now it's your turn. I will give five examples and you tell me if you think invoke or evoke is correct or incorrect. Write your answers in the comments section below and your ideas for future videos. All right, number one, the lawyer evoked a past case in order to establish legal precedent. Correct or incorrect?
Number two, the speech invoked a series of loud cheers from the attendees. Correct or incorrect? Number three, this perfume always invokes memories of you. Number four, in the horror movie, the main character evoked a terrible demon. And last one, number five, I evoke my right to speak with an attorney. Okay, guys, that's it for today's lesson. Thank you for watching. Please like this video if you learned something and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I hope you learned something new about two pretty advanced verbs, invoke and evoke. My name is Liam. This is Grammar Simple, the channel that makes difficult verbs and vocabulary simple. I will see you in a future video. Bye for now.